Hello again, and got another video here. It's uh, Dentrix G5 workstation install. Uh, things are a little different in G5, so um, in this case we're going to go to the start button and we're going to go up to my computer. Uh, or computer. And, and um, G4 and the other ones we usually have map drives, so I just want to show you something here. I'm going to browse it to my server. And I used to have this data drive that would be mapped, and that was where G4 is, but now at G5 you have this common folder, so. Um, really no reason to map the drive for anymore. I could probably get rid of the share of the data. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the common folder and now you'll see there's an install folder at G5 and then there's the setup for G5. And we need to install .NET. So we're going to go ahead and run through that. Accept the license agreement, go ahead and install, and finish, and then we'll continue on with the, uh, the G5 install here. Some more prerequisites that need to be installed, like DirectX. Alright, so now we want to accept that I've read the following tips. And we'll go ahead and hit next here. Accept the license agreement. And we want to make sure it's our workstation install. And now it's going to go out and it's going to search for the database. Um, so if the server's off or the service is not running, these are, you know, you'll get come back with some sort of error. Um, so hopefully it, it goes out and it finds your, your G5 server and continues on. Um, I always like to do advanced so I can see where it's going to install. Yep, it's local there. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, you can go ahead and say yes, though. Oh, I hit no. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that this time. It gives you a little bit of review, and you can see the data path was the uh, UNC path, so it was whack whack server whack common. So it's not using a uh, the map you know, map drive or anything like that. So now we just wait for the install to copy its file and do its thing and any other prereqs it needs. Uh, it'll it will start the install for those. So we got all our icons, so we're getting close here. And now we got the journal viewer, pretty common plugin for Dentrix. And since this machine does not have Adobe already installed on it, it's launching the, uh, the Adobe Reader setup. Um, you can expect this probably quick time um, if you don't have that installed.
All right, uh, Adobe Flash. And what I always like to do, you know, after you install Dentrix, is you always want to go into the Office Manager and then go to the File drop down and select your printer. Uh, open up the chart, go to the Setup, set your printer. Uh, those are common things that are missed, and you know, then you might not get um, things pr printing properly. So we're going to, going to uh, direct us to the eSync website to download that. Uh, definitely worth downloading and setting up in your environment because you know lots of apps and everything, add-ons you can get that are really good. Uh, I'm going to cancel out of that here and just kind of open up Dentrix and make sure it works. And uh, I'm going to register later, and uh, and that should be it right there. Everything's working.